Hello educators, in this video we're going to be taking a look at connecting your Blackboard course to Cengage or Cengage MindTap platforms. Coming up. Now before we begin, one of the unique things with the Cengage tool is that our material has to be deployed to the tool. Whether you're using a homework platform like MindTap or just an ebook, you want to make sure with your Cengage rep that your material is released to the actual tool in your school. Once we've done this, we want to go into that tool, find our material, and connect it. Let's take a look. Once inside the course in Blackboard that we want to connect to our Cengage platform, we want to go and find the Books and Tools resource here on the bottom left-hand side. Once the menu opens, you can see that I have Cengage uh, up here at the top. That's because I have connected to Cengage previously. But for the first time, we want to go down and hit Browse All Course Tools. Now, before we continue, we want to make sure that our school has configured this tool. So if your school has not configured the Cengage tool, be sure to reach out to your LMS administrator and make sure that that tool is configured. Once the tool is configured, it is going to ask us for the first time to accept terms and conditions. We want to go ahead and do that and then log in to Cengage. Once we've logged into Cengage, we're going to find three options here. And whether it is a MindTap, a CNOW, or a CNOW2 course, or maybe it's a, a Cengage Infuse, or maybe it's just an ebook, we want to select the appropriate one. For my course in this example, it's going to be a MindTap. So I'm going to hit Add Homework Platform. Once we add the homework platform, I can use the search bar to find my resource here. If not, I can scroll around to find the resource that I'm going to be using. And for this scenario, I'm going to be using uh, our legal uh, course here, legal environment. I know I have a section available to me. So I can then click the link to course button. Once I click this, it's going to give us several options. Many of you have probably seen this in the past. It says that I want to create a new course. That means I don't actually have a MindTap course out there on this resource, but I would like to create one. The other thing is making a copy of an existing course, whether that is an existing course that we've had in the past, but we want to make a new copy of that. We want to go ahead and select that. If we do have a course key where we want to link to a course already out there, we want to use that key. We can select that third option. And lastly, linking to an existing course. This is one that we already have a MindTap course available that we want to link to, and we want to make sure that we can link to that. I'm going to go and hit copy from an existing. I can see that I have existing copies out there. I can find this test course I've made for this particular uh, scenario. I can then select this. It will ask me what is the new title of this course. I'm going to simply leave it as my sandbox but this is where you could use your section title if you want to. And it wants us to set the end and start dates of the actual course itself. So I'll move this out here. So we have this and our time zone. The bottom we hit continue. Then it's going to ask us, what does our gradebook setting look like? Is it going to be activity course uh, scores from all of the items that we have in our gradebook or do we want the overall score as a whole for the course? This is going to tell Blackboard what point do we actually want to pull into Blackboard? Do we want the overall score itself or do we want individual items? I always choose the activity score. I like those individual items and I can adjust them throughout the semester. I'm gonna go and hit continue. Once it's done its thing, it's going to ask, where do we want to put the root link or the main link of our course, do we want to be in a category? Do we want it to have no category? I always have it no category because it is a direct link to the course students can use to access the main mind tap. We go ahead and hit submit and we'll see that link will appear in our course at the bottom with the title of our section. We can then make it visible to our students in the Blackboard environment and students can now use this link to move into their MindTap. 
I do have a long format of this video that walks you through the pairing process, and it also shows you how to move content from the Cengage tool into Blackboard. So be sure to check that out. I'll leave the link in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this content, be sure to like this video and leave any questions that you have in the comment section below. I'm gonna be building out more videos like this, specifically on Blackboard Ultra, helping you build the best course for your digital platform. Thanks for watching.